Coming back to the Olympics, we now know who the U.S. women's three-on-three -three basketball team will face off against first. Team USA, made up of Cameron Brink, Haley Van Liff, Sierra Burdick, and Ryan Howard is looking to defend their 2023 World Cup gold. Their first round match will be against Germany, and the tournament will run from July 30th to August 5th. Someone else who will be at the 2024 Paris Olympics is U.S. swimming phenom Katie Ledecky. Over the weekend, she punched her ticket to her fourth straight Olympic game by winning the 400 meter free and doing it in under four minutes. But it doesn't end there. Ledecky will look to qualify in the 1500 meter freestyle tomorrow and the 800 meter on Saturday. She is now just two Olympic gold medals away from having the most of any female swimmer ever. But another American swimmer also made headlines this weekend. 21-year-old Gretchen Walsh of Virginia set a world record in the 100-meter butterfly on Saturday, swimming it in 55.18 seconds. Now, the very next day, Walsh qualified for her first Olympics in that very event. She will certainly be one to watch this year. And finally tonight, Sean White is starting a brand new season-long half-pipe league called the Snow League. This is going to feature 20 men and 16 women and offer more than $1.5 million in prizes. The first season starts in March and will run past the 2026 Winter Olympics. There's going to be five events, all including snowboarding, with plans to add free skiing later on. Now, typically, half-pipe contests are standalone events with inconsistent TV schedules. So think of things like the X Games, the Dew Tour, and the Grand Prix stops. So White hopes this new league will give the sport a more reliable calendar.